Just because you're eating dinner alone doesn't mean that you don't deserve a fantastic meal. I'm making herb roasted chicken with tomatoes and baby potatoes. I'm also making a Tuscan kale Caesar salad. One pot, one recipe, one woman alone. <sighs> To get my chicken started, I'm going to liberally salt each side with some kosher salt and some pepper. I know this seems like a ton of seasoning, but the chicken does need a lot of seasoning. So to this, I'm going to chop up some rosemary and thyme. Most people think it's very sad to be alone at night. It's not. Don't go in there! I'm making two chicken breasts here today because usually I'll eat either both of them if I'm having a really bad day or I keep them for the next day for lunch. I mean, you're going through the steps of cooking a fantastic meal. You might as well make it worth your while. And who knows, your date from Match.com could actually come through and show up for once. What's up, Marishka? I see you. So I'm going to add my chicken now into a hot skillet. And I want to keep it on medium high heat because I want a very good golden crust on my chicken. So while those are going, I'm going to work on my Caesar salad dressing. So I'm starting with one egg yolk, a half a clove of garlic, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and just make sure it's gluten-free Worcestershire sauce. Some of them are not, so just make sure you read your labels. Then to that, I'm gonna add four anchovy fillets. Now, I'm Greek, and in our family, we go crazy for anchovies. And you probably have eaten anchovies before, and you don't know it. They have their way of either coming to the front and being the star, or going into the back of a dish and really giving a good backbone to it. So I've got this in the blender, and I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon. and I will give that a few seconds to come together. And then I'm gonna add a third of a cup of olive oil. All right, I'm gonna pour this dressing into the bowl. Beautiful. And I'm going to check on my chicken. This is the color that I want. Dark brown, light brown, perfectly crispy. And to my pan, I'm going to add some cherry tomatoes. And my parboiled potatoes. And I like to keep the lemon rind in there because I think it just flavors the sauce so well. And now I just take this to the oven at 425 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the inside of those chickens read 165. So I pulled my chicken out of the oven. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And now I'm going to shred my kale for my Tuscan kale Caesar salad. Kale is really coming to the forefront of the culinary world and I love it. I think it's absolutely delicious. And most people think that you have to saute this, but you don't, it's really delicious raw. And it goes so well with the earthy Caesar salad dressing. So I've got my kale shredded here and I'm going to just dress it lightly and I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to take some roasted almonds. And again, I'm playing with the flavors of the earth. I want some really toasty nuttiness in there. Just add these into the salad. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And now I feast. I'm going to plate up some of this kale. So I've got my beautiful chicken here. I just serve it up with some potatoes. Some of the tomatoes as well. Now, you don't have to have people come over to really treat yourself to a beautiful meal. I mean, this is absolutely delicious and it just screams comfort for me. Anytime I wanna whip up a quick late night meal, I always go to this one. If you like this recipe, make sure that you check in the description below. Or you can visit my blog, again, stashthegrain.com. I'm gonna go eat my dinner with my favorite person in the whole wide world, me. I feel like Rachel Ray at one of those stupid restaurants that she has to sit up by herself and pretend that she's 
enjoying herself. I have forty dollars. That was really good. 